are talking The Death Whisperer from 2023. This is a Thailand movie. I believe it's pronounced T Yod, uh, but I could be wrong about that. And it's effectively a possession movie. Let me give you the synopsis here. It focuses on this family. I believe it's taking place in the 70s. And we have this family out in kind of rural Thailand somewhere who work as farmers. Uh, we have two parents and we have three daughters and three sons. The, the kids are aged from kind of quite young child to uh, probably young adult. Anyway, there is this evil entity, this demonic force that takes an interest in one of the daughters and seemingly possesses her. And now it's up to this family to try and pull together to try and save this daughter and uh, rid themselves of this seemingly demonic curse that has been plaguing other people previous to this and also defend their own lives. Um, along the way, you'll meet a couple of other kind of peripheral characters and things and learn a little bit more about this kind of entity and what it wants. What will happen? You have to watch the movie and find out. So let's discuss. So what worked in this movie? Now, I will say this movie, I think, has um, a number of what, like, what I would call double-edged swords. There's certain things that I think work in this movie, but have a kind of a downside as well. So the movie generally is ends up being somewhat of a uh, traditional style possession movie with a kind of a little bit of Thailand flavour in there as well. But ultimately, it plays broadly like a, t a typical possession movie. So it's kind of like, you know what you're going to get, but I don't think it's particularly original. But if you are a fan of possession movies and, uh, you know, you, you like that genre, I think you'd most likely enjoy this one. One thing I would say that this movie does, it has a, a kind of a a few kind of prongs in the fire in regards to its kind of horror elements because there's plenty of sequences that are creepy played quite slow uh building in the kind of the atmosphere creepiness you know eerie kind of sequences out in the kind of the woods with this kind of mist going along and there's something in the background but there's also sequences of extreme violence and gore so we have a a fairly kind of uh, uh you know runs the gambit in regards to horror types if that makes sense all in one movie and in actual fact there's there's sequences here that will remind you of other films in particular for example there's one scene which kind of reminded me of the original evil dead uh where ash is kind of fighting the uh, the linda character <clears throat> we see a sequence in this where there's uh there's one of the characters who's got a shotgun and is in this kind of cornfield and there's like a a female demonic entity should we say that's around there and it's kind of cackling and giggling looking like the evil dead and has its head hanging off and things like that it reminds you of the evil dead so there are certain sequences that i think are either intentionally or un unintentionally you know similar to other kind of movies but they, 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 they're quite fun i won't lie now i have some issues with the characterization in this movie but i do think it eventually gets there in making some kind of like uh, likeable characters and characters that you can root behind at least some of them I thought our, uh, our older son and our older daughter uh, were kind of quite likeable and you know good protagonists generally speaking uh, you know it has this kind of family dynamic where the father is very much kind of like rules of an iron fist and you know he, he, he clashes with his older daughter he clashes with, with, his, with his son the older son clashes with his brothers, things like that. So there is a little bit of, um, you know, family dynamics kind of going on, which I think helps give this movie somewhat of a, a grounded feel in some ways. Now, there are issues with some of the characterizations, which I'm going to come on to, but there are some, I think, that do work, especially with those two characters, the older son and the eldest uh, daughter. Uh, the visuals are pretty good. Uh, when we do see these uh, horror imagery, um, this kind of possessed you know, entities that are hanging around or weird women in, all in kind of black with white and out eyes. It looks creepy. It's filmed quite well. And there are some very kind of drawn out gory sequences in the movie. In particular, the first scene in the film, in actual fact, is a particularly kind of gory scene and done practically and looks very good. Uh, but again, there are some issues with some of the effects which I'll come on to in a second. But, I, you know, I kind of quite enjoyed it. 
But I think the movie is um, fairly kind of well paced. It's a longer film in some ways. It's about two hours, but it's still peppered, I think, through with sequences to sort of, you know, hit those kind of horror highlights. One of the aspects I, I kind of enjoyed story-wise was this demonic entity is much stronger in the, in the night compared to the day. So in the day, our, our, our kind of family are sort of trying to prepare for the next night, ultimately, to try and defend themselves against this uh, <clears throat> entity which, which was trying to take control of this particular daughter. And then in the day, they're kind of, they're out. It's still there. It's still, it still is a problem sometimes, but not as much. So I kind of quite like that aspect. So let's now look, talk about what doesn't work in this movie. And, and, and as I say, some of this stuff is a little bit of a mixed bag. I liked our main... Uh, two characters the oldest son the oldest daughter but some of the other characters in particular the brothers are very ill developed uh, in actual fact the youngest uh, brother barely kind of registers as a character in actual fact I didn't even realize there was three brothers in this I thought there was two um so some of these characters are are very sort of ill-defined the the parents disappear for last chunk of this movie and you where are they what are they doing surely they there's a big ruckus outside their house where are they um, and then the movie also has this uh, initially it's kind of focused on our oldest sort of daughter as the protagonist but then it switches up to the oldest son and the daughter kind of just goes into the background so it's a little confused in regards to its sort of character work here I have to say. We get another character turn up called Sarge, and I think, is he like, because the oldest son used to be in the military. And it's like, is he someone from the military? But he seems to be into all this more spiritual stuff. I don't know. It's kind of, what? I don't know. Um, the acting is good for the most part, but there's one or two sequences where I feel it was a little bit hammy and a little bit kind of overcooked. Obviously, I'm reading the subtitled version of here, so I'm, you know, I can only really judge the physical acting, and there's, it's okay, I think, for the most part, but a couple of times where I think it was a little bit um, on the hammy side, I would say. The effects mostly are pretty good. They are a few that are uh, touched up with CGI or video effects and they look kind of quite noticeable. It's not every time, but there are one or two sequences that they just don't do. The VFX, the, the visuals, whatever you want to call it, the CGI, just doesn't look at a particularly kind of good stand. It kind of stands out, particularly when They've done a fairly good job with the kind of the cinematography and this kind of eerie atmosphere. And then they have these, you know, just shots where it's clearly kind of like VFX or CGI. And they, ah, just, just kind of breaks the immersion a little bit. And ultimately, I think when it's all said and done, it's somewhat of a standard possession movie. Uh, it might kind of have this flavour, this flavour from Thailand that gives it a little bit of cultural um, distinction. But the actual broad strokes of the story, I didn't think were all that... Uh, different from any other really possession movie, but overall it's still a pretty good watch I'll give it a six out of ten. I think it's uh, probably an above average movie, but it is somewhat flawed in my opinion There's a second movie that's coming out. Uh, I think in 2024. So we'll see what that's like uh, So yeah, six out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to you next time